Hello, good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. We also calculate delocalization energies of different cyclic system. I think in last lecture I gave an example regarding calculation of delocalization energy, and example is cyclo octatetra in. Can anyone tell me final answer of delocalization energy of cyclo octatetra in? What is the final answer? One point six five beta. One point six five six eight beta. Okay. Any other candidate? Charu Patar, you solve this example. Yes, sir. What is the answer? Calculation of delocalization energy of cyclo octa tetra in. What is the final one answer? One point sixty five. What? Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, eta. Delta, beta. Okay. Shinde bolo bolo alay ka yoga shinde. Lonely. Okay. Now then we today's uh, lecture also we calculate delocalization energy of different cyclic system. Here I write one thermal ring containing negative charge. I think we cannot calculate energy levels of five member ring in cyclic system. For calculation of energy levels, or before calculation, we go to the point that is first and Muslims graphical representation for five member cyclic system. For five member cyclic system, how many number of bonding orbitals? Three bonding orbitals. For five-membered cyclic system, there are three bonding and two are Anti anti-bonding molecular orbitals. See here, what is the formula for calculation of energy levels for cyclic system? E is equal to what is the formula? Alpha e is equal to alpha, alpha plus two beta, beta cos alpha. of 2 pi k 2 pi k upon divided by m yeah. is the formula for cyclic system then here we write values alpha plus 2 beta cos of 2 into 180 into what is the value of k for e1 0 k is 0 into 0 divided by how many number of total carbon atoms 5 then finally the answer must be alpha plus 2 beta alpha plus 2 beta that is this energy level e1 is alpha plus 2 beta now in our system in our cyclic system there are how many number of electrons how many number of electrons in this example total count 6 here the negative charge contain 2 electrons and 2, two pi bonds total count is 6 electrons Total electrons are six. <coughs> then, in one energy level, we place near about two electrons. If we place here E one in two electrons, then E two also contain two electrons. E three also contain two electrons. E four and E five are empty. There are because in system there is total six electrons. Because of this, we want to calculate energy that is E two and E three. Now, we know that E one is alpha plus. 2 beta. Now we calculate E2 and E3. What is the value of E2 and E3? See here again we place what is for E2? For E2, K is what is the value of K? Minus 1. Minus 1 or plus 1? 0 plus 1 minus 1. Then plus 1. one. What is the value? Plus one. Barubar na? Formula kaya sa nitala yapan E is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 2 n. Then K is equal to 0, plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 2. What is the value of K for E2? 
plus one. Plus one. Then final calculation is. I think here thirty. Sorry, thirty six. Then alpha plus two beta cos of seventy two. What is the value of cos seventy two? Cos of zero zero nine zero. Kaiti value. Zero point three zero nine zero. Alpha plus two beta cos of sorry value is into zero point three zero nine zero. Three zero nine zero. If you to calculate or multiply by two, then alpha e plus is equal to e two is equal to kaiti nare value. Alpha plus zero point zero point six one. Alpha plus zero point six one eight beta. Zero point six one eight eight beta. Beta. This is value for E two. Alpha plus zero point six one eight beta. Now we calculate E three. Can I calculate E three? Can I just say, "I'm going to E three"? But can I calculate E three? What is the value of E three? Alpha minus alpha minus point six one eight beta. Alpha minus. Minus or plus? Plus. Minus. Baga niit pa ha? I think this also alpha plus. Yes. E two is alpha plus zero point six one eight beta. E three, if you calculate this yes. by using formula, then E three is also plus, alpha plus zero point six one eight beta because they very simple difference in numericals. Alpha plus zero point six one eight beta. Now after calculation of energy levels of Cyclo pentadiene anion system that is five membered cyclic system. We go to the next point that is calculation of delocalization energy. And formula for calculation of delocalization energy is delocalization energy is equal to energy of system assuming delocalization minus energy of system assuming no delocalization. Now first we calculate. Energy of system assuming delocalization. Delocalization energy is equal to tell me what is how we place the electron here in first energy level. We place two electrons in second energy level. Also we place two electrons in third energy level. Also we place two electrons. Total count is six electrons. Then what is the formula? Alpha plus Two beta outside the bracket. How many electrons? Two. Two. Two plus because here we calculate energy of system assuming delocalization. Delocalization. Alpha plus two beta outside the bracket. Two plus here alpha plus zero point six one eight beta outside the bracket. How many electrons? Two. Here two also here two both in the energy levels are same because if you calculate both gives alpha plus zero point six one eight beta then how many total number of electrons four these two and these two total electrons are four four and hence we write here four minus energy of system or human delocalization minus energy of system or plus what formula is डीलोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी का फॉर्म्यूला क्या है संगा पटकन काई इज माइनस इज माइनस माइनस नो डीकोलाइजेशन माइनस व्हाट काई इज माइनस नो डीकोलाइजेशन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नंबर ऑफ अल्फास हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कितनी इलेक्ट्रॉन आए सिक्स फोर सिक्स सिक्स एंड हेस इन ब्रैकेट सिक्स अल्फा Plus for each double bond, we take two beta. How many double bonds? Two double bonds. And hence here we write four beta. Four 
beta beta now we solve the bracket 2 alpha plus 4 beta 2 alpha plus 4 beta plus 4 alpha plus multiply the multiplication Two point four seven two beta minus six alpha minus four beta. Here two alpha, here four alpha. That is six alpha plus. Here is four beta. Here is four point seven. That is six alpha plus six point four seven two beta minus six alpha minus four beta. This plus six alpha and minus six alpha cancel each other. Six point four seven two beta minus four beta. That is final answer is. Zero point four seven two beta. पहले देगा कैलकुलेट करा. Sorry, here six and here is four. That is two point two point four seven two two point four seven. कैलकुलेट करा पटकन. एक्साम्पल समझ ले का सर्वान कुछ प्रॉब्लम विचारा पटकन एनी वन हैव क्यूरीज रिगार्डिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम नेहा तन्ना हेलो सर हाँ बोला सर इलेक्ट्रॉन फील करता ना ई वन ई टू नॉन आना ही नहीं ना मैं इतने तो मैं गेट था ना अल्फा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट गेट लेना फोर ते कसर गेट ला अल्फा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है है फोर कैसे गेट लेगा हाँ दो नहीं अंदर की लेवल सेम है मुझे दो बार तो कैलकुलेशन तो आपन गेट था अल्फा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सात शेयर ट्रबी टाले ले बर मग आपण काय करतो ई1 ई1 मध्ये किती इलेक्ट्रॉन आहेत आउटसाइड दी ब्रैकेट राइटिंग करतो आता ई2 आणि ई3 दोन्ही सुद्धा सिमिलर लेवलला आहेत म्हणजे एक बॉन्डिंग आणि एक अँटी बॉन्डिंग असं दाखवले का आपण नाही दाखवले दोन्ही सुद्धा बॉन्डिंग आहेत एकच एनर्जी लेवल आहे जर तुम्ही डायग्राम मध्ये पाहिलं तर पहा म्हणजे फर्स्ट अँड मुस्लिम रिप्रेझेंटेशन मध्ये जर पाहिलं तर आपण काय करतो म्हणजे डायग्रामेटिक जर पाहिलं तर या टाइप मध्ये पहा आपण सर्कल काढलेला सर्कल मध्ये या दोन एनर्जी लेवल सेम दाखवलेल्या बरोबर ना ही आणि ही एनर्जी लेवल सेम दाखवलेली मग या दोघांच्या मध्ये सपोज हिअर तीन इलेक्ट्रॉन असते म्हणजे इथं जर आम्ही पुढचा एक्झाम्पल त्याच टाईप मध्ये घेणार आहे ज्या वेळेस पहिल्या रोबाटाईल मध्ये मी दोन इलेक्ट्रॉन टाकले पहिल्या एनर्जी लेवलला इन नेक्स्ट एनर्जी लेवल्स वन कंटेन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अँड वन कंटेन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन देन आर सॉल्व सॉल्व द ब्रॅकेट यु राईट थ्री नॉट अल्फा प्लस झिरो पॉइंट यु अल्फा प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट बीटा आउटसाइड दी ब्रैकेट टू प्लस अगेन अल्फा प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट बीटा आउटसाइड दी ब्रैकेट वन इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस बोथ एनर्जी लेवल्स आर एट इक्वल लाइन और इक्वल रेंज यू कैन राइट अल्फा प्लस समथिंग आउटसाइड दी ब्रैकेट टोटल काउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन अजून काय कोणाचा प्रॉब्लेम तन्ना नेहा तन्ना यस सर समजले हो सर सागर कड़े ना ओके ओके नाउ सॉल्व द सेम एग्जांपल इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस हियर आई राइट रेडिकल कैलकुलेट डी लोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस हियर आई राइट रेडिकल कैलकुलेट फास्ट काज हे एक्झाम्पल सुद्धा सॉल्व्ह करून देऊ 
जर कुणाला समजलं नसेल तर सॉल्व करून देऊ शकतो समजलं असेल तर सॉल्व्ह करा Tell me final answer first. What is the final answer for this reaction or this cyclic system? See here, this type of problem are always asked in the exam for two problems for eight marks. One contains four marks, also second contains four marks. In exam, they asked only one problem. They it is also for four, eight marks, but how marks are divided? Four marks are for calculation of energy levels. And next four marks are for formula of delocalization energy. And after placing the different values, then for final answer, accurate final answer, you get total four marks. That is four from calculation of energy levels and four from calculation of delocalization energy. In exam, they always not use structure. They also use name of particular compound like instead of cyclopentadiene radical, cyclopentadiene radical, if this is cyclopentadiene radical, instead of the structure, they write first point cyclopentadiene radical, cyclopropene anion. This type of questions are asked in exam instead of structures also. Sharuk, Sharuk. Yes, sir. How many marks are getting in MCT 305? 10 marks. How many marks are Okay, what is the answer? Bujbal? Bujbal is the answer. Sir, I am sure you are going to join the What is the answer for this problem? Are you going to go to the board? Okay, now I solve only one problem for calculation of delocalization energy of cyclic system. After that, after this point, we start a new point regarding molecular orbital theory topic or unit. See here. What is the final answer, Yogesh Shinde? Kunaat Dhala says, Tenni Patkan Sangha. Kattare? 1.85 per beta. 1 point? 1.85 per beta. Narayi Sangha. What is the final answer? Nice, sir. Hello. Okay. आज कौन जी सेट नहीं है? I think रुषिकेश पवार आई सर संगा आंसर सर नया आल कहा नया आल समझ लेना प्रॉब्लम लेक्चर मार्क्स लेक्चर लाभ सेंट होते चलते हैं मोड़ना है समझ लेना बर आज उन्हें प्रॉब्लम भी सॉल्व करने को ना रहे कान होता है वो तुम आके लिखते रहे। तुम्हें ज्वाइन करूँगा इतना होता है। 
असं कसं होईल होय सर मी पाच मिनिटं तर नऊ वाजल्यापासून वेट करत होतो पण तुम्ही जॉईन केलं नव्हतं सर आणि परत तुम्ही म्हणला आता नाही करायचं प्रदीप चांदेकर वॉट इज द आन्सर वॉट इज द आन्सर फॉर दिस सायक्लोपेंटाडाईन रॅडिकल स्पेसिज फडतरी सॉल्व्ह झालं का फडतरी समीरा शिंदे शिंदे ओंकार देसाई सॉल्व्ह करते सर ओके आफ्टर सॉल्व्हिंग यू गेट दी आन्सर फायनल आन्सर लाईक दिस वन पॉईंट एट फाईव्ह फोर वन पॉईंट एट फाईव्ह फोर बीटा येते का कोणाचं वन पॉईंट एट फाईव्ह फोर लोंडे ओके सी आय सॉल्व्ह दिस एक्झाम्पल ऑल्सो वॉट हॅपन्स दिस इज फायव्ह मेंबर्ड सायक्लिक सिस्टम हॅव्हिंग रॅडिकल टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फायव्ह we give different energy levels for five membered cyclic system that is three are bonding and two are non bonding sorry anti bonding here alpha plus two beta is e1 e2 and e3 alpha plus 0.618 beta alpha plus 0.618 beta total electrons are now we go to the localization energy alpha plus two beta outside the bracket 2 plus two. alpha plus 0.618 outside the bracket kiti aaye 3 okay outside alpha plus 0.618 beta outside the bracket khatal sanga outside the bracket how many electrons आवाज येतोय ना माझा आवाज येत नाही का आवाज येतोय का ओके अल्फा प्लस टू बीटा आउटसाइड दी बॅकेट टू बिकॉज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आवर बायटल वी प्लेस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन की अल्फा प्लस झिरो पॉईंट सिक्स वन एट बीटा आउटसाइड दी बॅकेट हाव मेनी थ्री थ्री मायनस मायनस वॉट एनर्जी ऑफ सिस्टम अज्युमिंग नो डिलोकलायझेशन मायनस हाव मेनी अल्फा फायव्ह अल्फा मायनस फायव्ह अल्फा फायव्ह अल्फा प्लस हाव मेनी नंबर ऑफ बीटा फोर बीटा फोर बीटा फोर बीटा फोर बीटा वी सॉल्व दिस ब्रॅकेट टू अल्फा प्लस फोर बीटा प्लस थ्री अल्फा प्लस वन पॉइंट एट फाईव्ह फोर बीटा मायनस फाईव्ह अल्फा मायनस फोर बीटा Year, year two alpha, year three alpha. We sum these two alphas is equal to five alpha plus year four beta and year one point eight eight five four beta. That is five point eight five four beta minus. फाईव्ह अल्फा मायनस फोर बीटा दिस मायनस फाईव्ह अल्फा अँड दिस प्लस फाईव्ह अल्फा कॅन्सल इच अदर देन फाईव्ह पॉईंट एट फाईव्ह फोर बीटा मायनस फोर बीटा वॉट इज दी फायनल अँसर वॉट इज दी फायनल अँसर वन पॉईंट एट फाईव्ह फोर बीटा वन पॉईंट वन पॉईंट एट फोर फाईव्ह बीटा एट फाईव्ह फोर बीटा बीटा 
This is the final answer. Again, I solve one problem from first page. Those are absent in previous lecture. Listen carefully or see carefully how to solve this problem. Here I give a system that is eight member system. Ruchikesh Pao, Arlak Chidai Pai. Okay, here I write plus. Here also plus. Here also plus. In cyclo or eight member cyclic system, how many numbers of bonding electrons? How many number bonding electrons? Three bonding. Three. Three bonding. And two are non bonding. Here non -bonding. also non bonding. Here also one non bonding. Now step by step calculate. I think in last lecture we calculate different types of energy levels. What is E one? Tell me direct alpha plus how many? E one. What is the value of E one? Alpha plus two beta. Alpha plus two beta. What is E two and E three? Alpha alpha plus one. Alpha plus one point four one five. Alpha plus one point four one four. Did you analyze Sangha? Did you guys did you analyze it? E two and E three. Okay, we calculate this. E two. Pahle so pa hai alpha plus two beta ni E two and E three calculate karte hain. E two is equal to alpha plus two beta cos of Two into one eighty into what is the value of k for e two plus one divided by total number of carbon atoms eight is equal to alpha plus two beta Cos forty five alpha plus two beta cos of forty five forty five I think cos forty five is one by root two one upon root two alpha plus two beta into one upon root two this two we can write like this also alpha plus root two into Root two into beta into one upon root two. This root two and this one root two cancel. Then alpha plus root two beta. What is the value of square root two? One point four one four or four one five. And hence here we write alpha plus one point four one five beta. Alpha plus one point four one four or four one five beta. Then again we calculate E three. Metra sanga. Metra sahita. Alpha plus two beta cos of two into one eighty into what is the value of k? Minus one. Into minus one. Divided by. Divided by. Eight. 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 Then alpha plus two beta cos minus. What is the value? Minus. Forty-five. This calculation also comes to the alpha plus beta. Final calculation is sorry, alpha plus four, alpha plus one point four one four 
beta. beta. If you calculate this, this again by play, using scientific calculation, this again comes to alpha plus one point four one four beta. How many electrons in our system? Total number of electrons in our system cyclic eight member ring containing how many electrons? Kiti electron ahe? This example contains how eight. many number of total electrons? Eight electrons. Eight. Six carefully. electrons. How Six many electrons? Because here I write positive charge, Six. not negative. Three, three bonds, and hence three energy levels are sufficient to us. If you, there is no need to calculate E four, E five, E six, E seven up to E eight, because in problem there are presence of only six electrons, and hence. First energy level will place two electrons. Second two electron, third two electron. That is total six electrons are fully filled. Then we go to next calculation. That is calculation of delocalization energy. Delocalization energy. Delocalization energy is equal to alpha plus two beta outside the bracket. Zado sanga zado. Outside the bracket, can I write it? Alpha plus two beta outside the bracket. Two plus alpha plus one point four one four or five outside the bracket. How many? Four. 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 First, we solve this. Or minus. What is minus? Energy of system assuming no delocalization. What is the value of? To be sanga, dipti zaro sanga. Or minus. Zadhav. What I take for minus? लेक्चर था लेक्चर था ओह चलिए चलिए व्हाट टेक वी हियर माइनस सिक्स अल्फा प्लस सिक्स बीटा व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू माइनस six alpha plus six beta six alpha plus six beta मिवी चार तो जाने संगा प्रदीप संजय कर संगा what I take here this is energy of system assuming delocalization now minus no delocalization what I take here प्रदीप संदेकर अनम्यूट करा पटकन व्हाट आई राइट हियर माइनस तो ते काही दिसे ना झाले मला काय म्हटला काही दिसे ना झाले ते बोर्ड वरच कधी पासून मगाच पासून दिसे ना झाले एकदम पुसट दिसत आहे बोलला नाही बाकीच्यांना दिसतोय का नाही तर ब्लर दिसत नाही सर आम्ही ऐकतोय फक्त संगा ना अपन जरा अजुन कैमेरा सर जरा लाइट लाइट तो जो लाइट 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 लवली लाइट दिस्त का था? नाही सर तसं दिसते ओके जरी तुम्हाला आज दिसत असेल तरी मागच्या लेक्चरला आपलं सगळं झालेलं आहे नाव कम टू दी पॉईंट एनर्जी ऑफ सिस्टम अजुमिंग डिलोकलायझेशन मायनस एनर्जी ऑफ सिस्टम अजुमिंग नो डिलोकलायझेशन फॉर एनर्जी ऑफ सिस्टम अजुमिंग नो डिलोकलायझेशन वी गे वी घेऊ फॉर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वी कॉल एज अल्फा अँड नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड्स वी कॉल एज अ Beta. Or we take for each double bond two beta. 
for each double bond we take two beta then what what is the energy of system assuming no delocalization how many numbers of alpha 6 alpha 6 alpha minus or plus beta 6 beta because in system there is presence of थ्री डबल बॉन्ड्स अक्षर जरा मोटे का टू अल्फा प्लस टू अल्फा प्लस फोर बीटा प्लस फोर अल्फा प्लस माइनस सिक्स अल्फा माइनस सिक्स बीटा व्हाट इज दी फाइनल आंसर कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट कर माला फाइनल आंसर संगा थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव बीटा व्हाट सन्नोबार शिकलगर संगा किती आला आन्सर शिकलगर करा करा कैलक्युलेट करा पटकन हॅलो सर हा बोला हॅलो हा सर मग आपण ते त्याडा नव्हतं ना तो आपण ते डिलोकलायझेशन म्हणजे सिक्स अल्फा प्लस फोर बीटा घेतलेलं मग आता आवाज येणार क्लिअर हॅलो आवाज आवाज क्लिअर येणार जरा माईक हा बोल हा सर मग आपण पेंटाडाचं एक्झाम्पल होतं ना तेव्हा तुम्ही सर डिलोकलायझेशन ला सिक्स अल्फा प्लस फोर बीटा घेतलेलं आणि आता सिक्स अल्फा माय हा मग अशी पण तेव्हा आपण सर इलेक्ट्रॉन होते सिक्स अल्फा प्लस सिक्स बीटा हा आणि मग सिक्स अल्फा प्लस घेतात फोर बीटा ओके हे कसं घ्यायचं बघ एनर्जी ऑफ सिस्टम अझ्युमिंग नो डिलोकलायझेशन याच्यासाठी एक फॉर्म्युला दिलेला आपण काय फॉर्म्युला दिलेला आहे दिलेल्या सिस्टम मध्ये आता ही आपली सिस्टीम आहे एट डेमल रिंग आहे आणि त्याच्यामध्ये तीन डबल बॉन्ड आहे बरोबर दिलेल्या सिस्टीम मध्ये जेवढे इलेक्ट्रॉन आहेत हाव मेनी नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेझेंट इन दिस एट मेंबर रिंग कंटेनिंग थ्री डबल बॉन्ड किती आहेत इलेक्ट्रॉन सहा इलेक्ट्रॉन बरोबर जेवढे इलेक्ट्रॉन आहेत त्यांना अल्फा घ्यायचं सहा अल्फा म्हणून इथं काय घेतलं आपण सिक्स अल्फा इन सिस्टम हाव मेनी नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड किती डबल बॉन्ड आहेत थ्री डबल बॉन्ड For each double bond, we take two beta plus plus sign in it. Which double bond is three double bond is. For each double bond, we take two beta. And hence, total is six beta. In previous system, five member ring containing. In one system, there is negative charge and one is radical. In five member ring containing negative charge, then total number of electrons six electrons. And hence, we take here six alpha. But total number of double bonds in five member ring only two, and hence here I write four beta. For each double bond, we take two beta. Understand? Yes, understand. Mani, sir, my answer is clear. Mani. श्वेता चिवे आन्सर किती आला थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फाईव्ह सिक्स बीटा थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स ओके 
कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ डीलोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी सर्व ना एक्साम्पल समझ लेता अपन अगर का प्रॉब्लम अपन अजु एक एक्साम्पल घू सको If anyone having queries regarding this solving of this type of example, you can ask frankly. If no any queries, then we start new point. I have to pull all the queries. Hello sir. Ha, bola. Hello sir, apn di ka card do the use kya hai? Kya hai mande? अपन जो कहा तो एनर्जी डी लोकल से एनर्जी तो जो यूज हाँ. इसका हो तो ओके okay. हे यूज वगैरे मी आई थिंक डी फर्स्ट लेक्चर ला सांगितलेला सपोज वी टेक एग्जांपल लाइक अल्फा नेपथॉल एंड बीटा नेपथॉल ऑन अल्फा नेपथॉल इफ वी गिव एनी टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन लाइक फिडलगा अल्काइलेशन असाइलेशन और एनी रिएक्शन then in alpha naphthol reaction takes place at carbon number 1 but in beta naphthol reaction takes place at sorry in beta naphthol reaction takes place at carbon number 1 but in alpha naphthol reaction either two position or four position at which center reaction takes place these also calculated by using delocalization energy and most important use in what is delocalization energy delocalization energy is used for predict the stability of different ring systems up to this stage only we use logic of aromaticity up to this stage we use only logic of aromaticity by using aromaticity we tell this is more reactive less reactive more stable less stable but by using the localization energy also we tell stability of different ring system or this points are asked in competitive exam for what in which type of questions they use three systems and arrange the following with increasing order of stability if there is some missing of knowledge of aromaticity then we use concept delocalization energy and the one question asked in csr exam is see here this question is asked in C three H three plus C three H three minus and C three H three radical. Are any the following compound? I think this is the same. C three H three plus C three H three minus and C three H three radical. Are any the following compound with increasing order of delocalization energy? That type of questions are asked in exam. again by using delocalization energy i give one conclusion point that is try to solve this example c3h3 plus c3h3 minus and c3h3 radical calculate whole three systems delocalization energy that is like this c3 three carbon h3 Here is I think double one one two and radical C three H three one two and here is one hydrogen negative charge. Question तो बोल रहे हैं कहाँ यहाँ question solve करने तो नहीं तो बोला answer दे दो देखो या तो शिकल करें नहीं भी चार. First for arrangement calculate the localization energies of these three systems. Then I give reason. Next reason. What is the main conclusion of this? But can Sangha? Question some other line. But there. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, calculate Karathi Ganja delocalization energy. Any more Sangha answer? Can I take? Remember the ring containing cation anion and radical.
okay you can solve this example in home also uh, write the conclusion point after calculation of delocalization energy of different systems <coughs> larger the delocalization <laughs> energy okay this one you have okay screen हेलो बोला बोला आवाज येतोय दिसत नाहीये काय लिहिलं येते ओरली सांगितलं ना मी थ्री मेंबर्ड सायक्लिक सिस्टम कंटेनिंग डबल बॉन्ड अँड हॅव्हिंग पॉझिटिव्ह चार्ज नेक्स्ट रिंग कंटेन निगेटिव्ह चार्ज अँड नेक्स्ट रिंग कंटेन रेडिकल ओके अगेन आय राईट दिसते का का योगेश नाही सर पण समजलं तुम्ही बोलले इतकं मोठं कळलं तर दिसे ना काय नाही सर कशावरून रेकॉर्डिंग करताय रेकॉर्डिंग नाही डायरेक्ट लाईव्ह लेक्चर चाललंय गुगल मिट लॅपटॉप थ्रू हा लॅपटॉप थ्रू तिने एक्झाम्पल दिलेत पाहिजे थ्री मेंबर सायक्लिक सिस्टम कंटेनिंग एकमेकांना लागून नाही आहेत डिफरंट डिफरंट आहेत थ्री मेंबर सायक्लिक सिस्टम कंटेनिंग पॉझिटिव्ह चार्ज निगेटिव्ह चार्ज रेडिकल What is the final answer? What does huh? negative charge is delocalized energy is just a cell, then the radical, then the positive charge. Calculate it? No. Delocalization energy. We have a reason. We have a question. 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 Two beta. निगेटिव्ह चार्ज जर घेतला थ्री एच थ्री मायनस निगेटिव्ह चार्ज ची डिलोकलायझेशन एनर्जी आहे झिरो अँड रॅडिकल ची डिलोकलायझेशन एनर्जी आहे वन बेटा तुम्ही कॅल्क्युलेट करून पहा घरी मी याला नंबर देतोय वन निगेटिव्ह चार्जला देतोय टू रॅडिकलला देतोय थ्री वन टू अँड थ्री वी गिव्ह हिअर थ्री नंबर्स by using logic of aromaticity which is most stable 1 2 or 3 1 because it is aromatic then second is b second is b anti aromatic anti anti aromatic and third is how many electrons Three electrons. Three. Non aromatic. First is aromatic, second is anti aromatic, and last is non aromatic. But this example does not come in any type that is not aromatic, not anti aromatic, or not comes in rules that is total count is three electrons. It is non aromatic by using. There are some confusions with aromaticity and delocalization energy. And hence, this type of example we arrange the molecule by using delocalization energy also. See here, first example that is cyclopropene containing positive charge shows delocalization energy is 2 beta. Cyclopene, cyclopropene containing लार्जर दी डिलोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी हायर इज दी स्टेबिलिटी 
what is the conclusion point larger the delocalization energy higher is the stability and aromatic compounds are most stable then non aromatic compounds and then anti aromatic compounds but if we take radical species if we have the ask radical species instead of aromatic aromaticity logic you use delocalization energy logic that is larger the delocalization energy higher is the stability and hence this example first is two beta second is zero and third is one beta the stability of first is higher than that of aromaticity and delocalization energy the conclusion same the guy example बरबर ना aromatic non aromatic and anti aromatic hmm. that is we compare the stability with aromaticity first is aromatic third is non aromatic and middle is anti aromatic and also delocalization energy first shows 2 beta third shows 1 beta and middle shows 0 that is 2 beta is greater than 1 beta is greater than that of 0 and hence here we compare both logics are correct screen this take up शाहरुख शाहरुख है का मैं अजुन लेक्चर कंटिन्ू करना अर्धा तास लिव कहीं वहां नहीं कंबले सर जरा लेट लेक्चर घेना फॉर होमवर्क आई गिव एक्साम्पल्स एट होम सॉल्व दिस एक्साम्पल्स ऋषिकेश पवार एक्साम्पल दिखतेव चार्ज निगेटिव चार्ज का पॉजिटिव चार्ज बेम्बर ड्रिंग है रिंग कि मेम्बर है एट मेम्बर ओके राइट एक टू निगेटिव चार्ज फर्स्ट एक्साम्पल कैलक्युलेट डीलोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी एट होम नेक्स्ट एक्साम्पल इज एट मेंबर ड्रिंक कंटेनिंग टू पॉजिटिव चार्ज Next is four member ring containing two negative charge. Four member ring containing one double bond and two positive charge. Four member ring containing two radicals. पहली दोन एक्साम्पल राइटिंग के लिए साइक्लो ऑक्टेन सिस्टम साइक्लो ऑक्टीन ओके नाउ चार एक्साम्पल नाउ नेक्स्ट एक्साम्पल इज
Seven member ring containing quality charge. Seven member ring. And seven member ring containing radical. Seven member ring containing positive charge, negative charge, and radical. Here is negative charge, radical, and cation. Example this side. Next example for solving is. Huh? Sir, sir, I last example. Kai. Seven member ring containing radical. Three double bonds and one radical. Hello. Sir. Ah. Huh? Uh, instead of a uh, laptop mobile ek device use karunga ki okay. this is okay kai mantla laptop uh, laptop mobile use karun baga bar bar hal member ring containing radical pur tumhi ata sala ppt var kit ghenar hai no board nako ppt na नको सर पीपीटी नको पीपीटी नको सर पीपीटी नको आज दोन युनिट मध्ये टॉपिक संपेल बघा फाइव मेंबर रिंग कंटेनिंग रेडिकल नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल इज आई थिंक थ्री फॉर एट मेंबर थ्री मेंबर थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स देन थ्री फोर मेंबर नाइन एंड वन फाइव मेंबर टेन एग्जांपल्स आर गिवन बाय मी Solve and upload in assignment. Assignment मेरे भी देते नहीं पर मतलब मेल दरी केला दरी करे. This is assignment regarding calculation of delocalization energy. Ten example three R eight member ring containing cation radical anion. Three R seven member ring containing cation radical anion. Four R three four member ring again example sir four member ring containing cation radical anion. And last example is five member ring containing one radical because cation and anion are solved we solve in this lecture this is final example i think total how many number of so examples are given by me 10 10 9 rutu chalawar awaz yeto na yes sir kiti example dile mi 9 मोबाइल साइट ने दोन फिर आर मत कश एक एक्साम्पल कुछ मिस पटकन संग
आता बोर्ड दिसतोय का सांगा मला जरा एक्झाम्पल दिसतय मग ओके नाव नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ टुडेज लेक्चर इज मोलेक्युलर ऑर्बाइटल कॅल्क्युलेशन मोलेक्युलर ऑर्बाइटल कॅल्क्युलेशन अँड चार्ज डेन्सिटी मोलेक्युलर ऑर्बाइटल कॅल्क्युलेशन्स अँड चार्ज डेन्सिटी मोलेक्युलर ऑर्बाइटल कॅल्क्युलेशन अँड चार्ज डेन्सिटीज फॉर दिस वी गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स अल्टरनेट ए एन टी आर एन ए एन टी अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स एंड नॉन अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स एंड नॉन अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स मोलेक्युलर ऑर्बाइटल कॅल्क्युलेशन अँड चार्ज डेन्सिटी फ्रॉम दिस देअर आर टू टर्म्स दॅट इज अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स अँड नॉन अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स we see what is alternate hydrocarbons and what is non alternate hydrocarbons after this we go to calculation of charge densities now again first heading is alternate hydrocarbons again heading is alternate hydrocarbons see here what is alternate hydrocarbons yogesh येस सर आता दिसते का स्क्रीन जरा अरेंजमेंट चेंज केली का नाही अजून ब्लरच आहे सर अजिबात दिसत नाही क्लिअर नाही ओके सी हियर अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स हियर आय गिव्ह वन एक्झाम्पल अँड नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज बेंजिन बेंजिन सर्वांना दिसतोय का बेंजिन बेंजिन आहे ना ते हियर वी फोकस ऑन अल्टरनेट हायड्रोकार्बन्स यू हॅव चॉईस टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एनी कार्बन सी हियर वॉट आय डू हियर फॉर दिस कार्बन आय गिव हियर स्टार फॉर दिस कार्बन आय गिव हियर स्टार आफ्टर स्टार देन दिस इज नॉन स्टार बिकॉज अल्टरनेट स्टार नॉन स्टार देन अगेन आय प्लेस हियर स्टार हियर नॉन स्टार and here star again i give next example like naphthalene see here star non star star non star star non star here also star non star and here also star now again i compare or again i take another example like this biphenyl see here star you have just to start from any carbon star non star star non star star non star star non star here also star non star here star non star here also star if we see these three examples one is benzene other is naphthalene other is biphenyl then again i write one example what is the name of this compound can you tell this example you study in polymer chemistry at tybc level also what is the name of this compound styrene 
okay very good we start from any carbon star non star start non star star non star star non star now if you focus on for examples now i will give definition of alternate hydrocarbons what is alternate hydrocarbons when starred atom is join with non starred atom when starred atom join with non starred atom then this type of hydrocarbons is called as non alternate hydrocarbons what is the definition when starred atom join with non starred atom starred atom join with non starred atom then these type of hydrocarbons are called as alternate hydrocarbons if you see these examples all examples starred atom is always connect with non starred atom no two starred or two non starred atom comes closer to each other see here star non star again stars or this star connect with non star this non star connect with star if star and non star connection is there then this type of hydrocarbons are called as alternate hydrocarbons what is conclusion if star atom connect with non star atom then this type of examples are called alternate hydrocarbons now we give next example that is non alternate hydrocarbons after alternate hydrocarbons we go to the next point that is non alternate hydrocarbons what is the definition when two star or two non star atom connect each other when two star or non star atom connect with each other then this type of hydrocarbons are called non alternate hydrocarbons i give one example what is the name of this compound i think you draw this all structures i write next structure for non alternate hydrocarbon for non alternate hydrocarbon we place here or we join here two non star or or two star atom each other what is the name of this compound what is the name of this compound fulvin okay very good fulvin fulvin now we focus on how to notify the start and non start here is start non start start non start start non start start see here start non start or you can write in discussion also start non start start non start start here non start but here non start this non start carbon and this non star carbon connect each other and hence this type of examples are studied in non alternate hydrocarbon now i give next example like this what is the name of this compound Arlene. If you, what is the name? I, if you not see this example, I write at the middle of the sentence. Azulin. What is? Azulin. Tell me now, now name. What is the name? Londe sanga londe. What is the name of this compound? One five member ring and one seven member ring. What is the example? This example I ask in. What is? बरोबर आहे फडकरी सांगा अजुलीन अजुली 
It is Azuli. Star, non star, star, non star, star, non star, star, non star, star, non star. See here. This non star carbon and this non star carbon connect each other and and these examples also go to the non alternate hydrocarbons. To start or to non start atoms connect each other, then this type of hydrocarbons are called non alternate hydrocarbons. Also, when one star and one non star atom connect, then this type of hydrocarbons is called as alternate hydrocarbons. This is classification of hydrocarbons regarding alternate and non alternate hydrocarbons now next heading is determination of charge densities next heading is determination of charge densities determination of charge densities write some points determination of charge densities for determination of charge densities there are some sub points first sub point is mark the carbon atom that is star or non star mark the carbon atoms next point is write write letters write letters at the star atom write letters at the star atom And th third point is write letters in bracket alphabets. Write letters in bracket alphabet. You can write alphabets. <coughs> Here in third point, we explain. I explain one example. How many numbers of carbons are present in this example? Me which are the ten is some How many number of carbons present in this example? Ashwini Rao Sangha. Number of carbons present in this example? Four, five, six. Seven, sir. This time, Ajay Tumala. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this type of examples are given for calculation of charge density, our first target is mark the carbon atoms. Here, here they give positive charge. I, we start from this star, non star, then again star, non star, star, non star, and star. See what I do here. The species containing positive negative charge, we start star and non star from this. For positive, we place here star, then non star, again star, non star, star, non star, and star. After this, second rule is give alphabets. Alphabets are given like this here. plus A for star, then alphabets here instead of star, non star, star, non star, star, non star and star. See here, here plus A, here minus A, here again plus A and here minus A. Very simple. Signs are not important. When alphabet is changed, there is one rule. If there is some bridging carbons, these examples we see later. If there is some bridging carbons, then alphabets are changed. But here no bridge. Linear chain. And hence all alphabets are same. A here, only for convenience, 
we change the sign plus a minus a plus a minus a then for calculation of delocalization energy the rule is how many a how many a are present in particular system total number of a's kiti ahe je अमित जाधव यस सर तीन आहे चार वन टू थ्री फोर नाव आफ्टर दिस आय राईट हिअर ए इज कोइफिशंट व्हॉट इज ए ए इज कोइफिशंट राईट हिअर ए इज कोइफिशंट अँड ए स्क्वेअर इज चार्ज डेन्सिटी ए इज कोइफिशंट अँड ए स्क्वेअर इज चार्ज डेन्सिटी नाव आवर मेन टार्गेट इज कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ चार्ज डेन्सिटी ए इज कोइफिशंट अँड ए स्क्वेअर इज चार्ज डेन्सिटी now how we calculate a and a square see here a square plus a square plus sign are not important a is coefficient how many a 4a a square plus a square plus a square plus a square i write four times is equal to 1 this is the formula number of 1 2 3 and 4 a square plus a square plus a square plus a square is equal to 1 then 4 a square is equal to 1 a square is equal to 1 a square is equal to 1 upon 4 a is equal to root 1 upon 4 and a is equal to what is the root 1 upon 4 1 by 2 that is value of coefficient a is equal to 0.5 kiti alala hai final answer apla coefficient neha tanna 0.5 रिगार्डिंग कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ चार्ज डेन्सिटी इन एक्साम आईदर डीलोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ चार्ज डेन्सिटी एंड लास्ट पॉइंट इज ऑफ आवर यूनिट इज कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ रिएक्टिव रिएक्टिविटी इंडेक्स Three, prob three types of problems. First, delocalization energy. Next is calculation of charge density, and last is calculation of reactivity index. From three, our weightage for this unit is near about 16 marks or 20 marks. Charge density, delocalization energy, and reactivity index. Very simple or easy topic for examining in some point of view. If now anyone have queries. you can ask kunala kay problem ahet ka sir tumhi te branch tar patkan bola branch ta bola kutle branch would change branch tasa hona hota na ke ya cha char density ka कशाची ट्रेन हा पॉइंट आता फक्त आपण सुरुवात केलेली आहे म्हणजे तुम्हाला काहीतरी आयडिया यावी म्हणून आपण हा पुढे पुढच्या पुढची दोन लेक्चर हा पॉइंट चालेल आपला कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ चार्ज डेन्सिटी ना ओनली आय स्टार्ट दी व्हॉट इज चार्ज डेन्सिटी व्हॉट इज कोइफिशंट व्हॉट इज ए व्हॉट इज चार्ज डेन्सिटी व्हरायटी ऑफ एक्झाम्पल्स आर टेकन इन नेक्स्ट टू लेक्चर्स पुढचे लेक्चर मी पीपीटी वरती घेतो एक्झाम्पल नोट चालेल ना चांगला कैमेरा नहीं करना
ऑप्शन आहे ना सत्ता ना मेगा पिक्सेल चा मोबाईल ट्राय करू बघा मोबाईल आहे तर ती मोबाईलला रेकॉर्ड करता येत नाही लेक्चर मोबाईलला आपले कॅमेरा आहेत चांगले लेक्चर रेकॉर्ड करता आलं पाहिजे ना ते लेक्चर आम्हाला दाखवावं लागतं लेक्चर घेतलेलं आहे ते ओके नो एनी एनी वन हॅव इन क्युरीज देन वी सी इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर प्रॉब्लेम्स रिगार्डिंग कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ चार्ज डेन्सिटी मोबाईल पण ठेवा आणि लॅपटॉप पण ठेवा हॅलो आवाज येतोय का येस सर ओके बिकॉज कांबळे सर आर टू लेट आय स्टार्ट लेक्चर फॉर अगेन फॉर फायव्ह मिनिट्स 
कांबळे सर जरा लेट येणार आहे तेव्हा आपण जरा कंटिन्यू करूयात इफ एनी वन एनी क्यूर इज रिगार्डिंग दिस रिएक्शन आय अगेन एक्सप्लेन वन एक्झाम्पल आय थिंक दिस वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन हॅलो आवाज येतोय कुठेतरी आवाज येतोय ना स्क्रीन दिसते का येस सर हो दिसते व्हेरी गुड स्क्रीन दिसते आवाज सुद्धा येतोय सर को डबल घेणार सर ते नंतर एक्झाम्पल देतो See here the thermal rearrangement of the thermal rearrangement of 1,5 diene. The thermal rearrangement of 1,5 diene by 3,3 sigma tropy is called as Cope rearrangement. Now see what is 1,5 diene's. Or why we tell this 1,5 diene's for Cope rearrangement? There is importance of diene system. Example like this. i give double bond here is one double bond here also one double bond number always starts from allylic carbon or first we give number 1 2 here 3 here 4 and here 5 thermal rearrangement of 1,5 diene under thermal condition if you give the numbers that carbon number 1 and carbon number 5 contains double bond carbon number 1 and carbon number 5 contain double bond see here also here if you show the numbers see here 1 2 3 4 5 at carbon number 1 and carbon number 5 there is double bond and and hence thermal rearrangement of 1,5 diene under thermal condition is called as Cope rearrangement the reaction is 3,3 sigma tropy because there is formation of new bond at carbon number 3 and 3 and breaking of bond from carbon number 1 and 1 or breaking of bond from sigma bond between carbon 1 and 1 and formation of sigma bond in carbon 3 and 3 and hence this reaction is called as 3,3 sigma tropy in this reaction also thermal condition is must see here how reaction takes place this double bond this double bond attack on this carbon then here is shifting and here is also shifting to form this product in this examples i does not focus on stereochemistry we does not focus on stereochemistry but we tell only formation of new bond at carbon 3 and 3 and breaking at carbon 1 and 1 and hence this is a 3,3 sigma tropy that is Cope rearrangement Raut, do you understand? Yes, sir Can you tell me? Now See how to control the stereochemistry see here here also number start from this allylic carbon 1 2 3 1 2 3 the reaction takes place like this here attack takes place then here is one double bond movement and here also movement to form breaking of bond this bond is breaking and here is formation of new bond to form this product screen is ka nahi
मानी जॉइन वाले तो अट्ठे मानी आहित कमानी मानी अनम्यूट करा प्रेरणा मानी आवाज देते हैं ना माता सरवन ना यस सर मेत्रस है क्या मेत्रस गर्मा आने ना लागा करा सकड़ी लेके लाना होते हैं हाँ है सर हाँ ओके योगेश योगेश शिंदे लोंडे फडतरे एक मेकनिजम हो हाउ टू रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस टू फॉर्म दिस सी ट्रिपल बॉडी एन प्लस एंड ओ माइनस रेफर क्लीडन पहले का योगेश नहीं सर का मी घरी पाठ दे का कुरियर ने मैकेनिजम खटा काय मेकनिजम है लोंडे है का लोंडे मेकनिजम के आठवत नहीं घरी जाऊन पा तरी एक्जाम्पल को एक्जाम्पल को स्क्रीन दिते ना नहीं दस बर 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 स्क्रीन दसेल तुम्हारा आता चारुकतार यस सर यस सर नो सर वेलकम सर आती मेकनिजम के नहीं सर एन्सर पुल फॉर्म मध्य पूजा पाटिल यस सर सॉल्व के एक्साम्पल नहीं एक्साम्पल सॉल्व के का समझ लेना है क्या अजून कोण आहेत वाघ सॉल्व केलं का एक्झाम्पल पहिल्या लेक्चरला का होता नेहा तन्ना नाही केलं 
का नाही केलं ते रिसायकलिंग संपून मला आय थिंक तीन चार लेक्चर झाले असतील माझे एमओपीचे किंवा दुसरे लेक्चर असेलच कळलं नाही काय केलं ते मला पाठवून द्या मग मी कळवतो असं तर होणार नाही काहीच कळालं नाही त्यातलं राकेश माधा एक्झाम्पल पाहिलं का नाही सर कुठल्या टॉपिक मधलं एक्झाम्पल होत ते रिसायक्लिक मधला कुठला असं पॉइंट ओके पाटवळे केलं सॉल्व नाही करणार नाही ऋतुजा पवार मोबाईल साईट ला ठेवून गेल्यावर नाही सर मला वाटलं भगवान येस सर भगवान हा केलं एक्झाम्पल सॉल्व नाही काय प्रॉब्लेम काय त्याच्यामध्ये मी कुठलं बुक सांगितलेलं रेफर करायला त्या एक्झाम्पल साठी नरळे संतोष केलं का सॉल्व नाही सर का बर इतकी लेक्चर तुम्हाला इतका होमवर्क असतो खूप बिझी शेड्युल असते का सुरेश खांडेकर येस सर येस सर नो सर सर झालं का सॉल्व नाही केलं का स्वप्नील खोत येस सर येस सर म्हणून का रे फक्त सॉल्व्ह केले का सांगा क्वेश्चन सगळ्यांना सेमच आहे येस सर नो सर येस सर नो सर ओके कांबळे सर काही अजून येत नाहीयेत येतील कांबळे सर बाबा आल्यानंतर तुमचे लेक्चर चालू करतील आता मी काय कंटिन्यू करत नाही हॅलो रेकॉर्डिंग होत नाही बोल
आहे की नाही लेक्चर
पहलवान की था बोल की अगर जरा कनेक्ट आहे कनेक्ट प्रॉब्लेम आहे सर म्हटले दोन मिनिटात जॉईन होत आहे Okay, so good morning, all of you. Yes, I am audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so today thirty students are here. Okay, and uh, you know that uh, remaining. So, Ankita, for first lecture, how many students? Ankita. Four. Thirty-four. 
So four students left. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So right now, what happened? Uh, there is some network issue in the department. That's why uh, we are late today. But uh, we want to see the next part of our and uh, proton NMR spectroscopy. And last time we discussed about what that is a coupling of protons to other important nuclei. Okay. So anybody know which type of nuclei is there? F19, deuterium, phosphorus 31, silicon 29, and C13. So, how many protons are there? Five, pro five nuclei, important nuclei are there. So, among that, we want to see F19, deuterium, phosphorus 31, silicon 29, and C31. Okay? Yes, is it correct? Rushikesh Power? Yes. Okay. So, uh, just uh, I would like to share the screen. And from the screen, you should know that the coupling of protons. So, everybody uh, seen the, the screen? Sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so last lecture we are seen the coupling of, of protons in case of what F19 nuclei. F19. Okay, yes. So in that what happened? Uh, we have seen that HF coupling and HH coupling. So what is important point in case of F19 is what HF coupling is a long range coupling. It is what long range long coupling than HH coupling. Okay, and the spectrum of fluoroacetone okay so if you see this spectrum that is fluoroacetone in that what happened in you know that the structure of acetone cs3 c double one o cs3 okay CS3. so fluoroacetone means what one of the hydrogen is replaced by what fluorine okay so it is called as a fluoroacetone okay okay and in this case you should know that if fluoroacetone is there and that spectrum on 300 megahertz, then what happens? The CS3 group, which gives what? Doublet at 2.2 delta. And its a coupling constant value is 4.3. And that resulting from what? It is a long range coupling by the fluorine nucleus. Okay. The doublet at 4.75, J value 48 hertz represents the proton of the CH2 group coupled to the germinal fluorine nucleus. Okay. And the F19 nucleus is about 80% as sensitive as proton and can be readily observed at appropriate frequency and magnetic field. Okay. So if you see here the CH2F, so here CH3 and CH2, such two kinds of protons are there. But in NMR, what happened? This CS2, CS3 shows doublet. CS3 shows what? Doublet. And uh, uh, which having the data value 2.2. But the fluorine attached to this methylene proton, that is CS2, it shows what? Doublet. And which, uh, its data value is what? 4.75. But if you see the coupling constant of this CS3 and this CS2, yeah, the coupling constant value is more. It is about 4.3 for CS3, while for CS2 it is what? 4.75 for you. Uh, delta value and J value is what? 48 hertz. So if you see the difference here, 4.3 hertz and here is the 448 hertz. So what it represents? It represents there is a long range coupling. And if you see, this is the spectrum. This is for what? CS3, 4.3. And this is for what? CS2, F. And it is uh, 4.8 and 48 hertz. Okay. So all of you understand this one? 
Yes, sir. All of you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what actually happens when the proton, that is proton, coupling of pro proton with what? Other important nuclei. Among that, first case is what? Fluorine 19. Okay. So, if proton attached to the fluorine 19, then there is definitely long range coupling. Which type of coupling is there? Because all of you know that the type of coupling constant, geminal, visinal, long range coupling constant. Okay. So here in case of fluorine, there is a long range coupling. And why is it so? Because of one of the proton from CH3 is replaced by fluorine and the acetone becomes what? Fluoroacetone. So fluoroacetone and what we say that this uh, geminal coupling is due to why? Because of the F at a geminal position. So if you see CH2F, F is here, okay? And F attached to the CH2 uh, group. And that's why the CH2 groups coupled up to geminally with what? Fluorine nucleus. So in case of fluorine nucleus, in coupling with proton, two things important. You always keep in mind that there is a long range coupling and fluorine coupled with what? Geminal at a geminal coupling. Okay? All of you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So next one is what? Deuterium. Okay. So everybody know that the mass number, if hydrogen having mass number two, then it is called as a deuterium. It also represents as a H2. Usually is introduced into molecule to detect particular group or to simplify a spectrum. Deuterium has a spin number one. Okay. So hydrogen having which spin number? Rushikesh? Rushikesh power. What is the spin number of hydrogen? How much? Yes, Rushikesh. Rushikesh power. Plus sir. Plus half. Plus it is half only. Okay, and that's why it having two spin state. Okay, so here deuterium having how much spin number? One. What is the spin number of deuterium? Yes. Hello. One. What is the spin number of deuterium? Is one. One. Okay, and that's why small coupling constant. Okay, uh, I think you don't see the screen. Yes, is it correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. You not seen screen, na? No? Or you seen screen? No, sir. Neither sir. Okay, just wait. Okay, so if we if you see the deuterium which having the spin number is what one okay and a small coupling constant with proton and a small electrical quadrupole moment okay so here two important factor is observed if nucleus is fluorine then what happen there is a long range coupling okay and its coupling constant value becomes greater as well as if fluorine is there, then fluorine attached to the CH2 by only one single bond. So it is coupled at a geminal. Okay. And that's why its uh, value is what? Uh, more. That is long range coupling. But when, if you see, the proton is coupled with the deuterium. So deuterium having what? 
so deuterium having mass number 2 and this spin quantum number is a 1 so that's why there is a small coupling constant with protons and small electrical quadrupole moment so these two factors are important in case of when proton coupled with hydrogen what is that there is a small coupling constant with protons and second one is what small quadrupole moment all of you understand hello hello yes sir okay so yes if you see the ratio of j values for hydrogen hydrogen coupling and to those of hydrogen deuterium coupling is about 6.5 so j value is here what 6. for you in case of what hydrogen deuterium okay okay and some it is a small because if you see in fluorine is coupled then its value 48 megahertz okay and here is what only 6.5 suppose the protons on the alpha carbon atom of a ketone so this is a alpha carbon atom of ketone okay here is the ketone and here is what alpha beta gamma okay and x and y contains no protons so here is no protons here is also no protons so the protons are here were replaced by deuterium suppose this compound in this compound that is alpha carbon atom which having alpha beta gamma and here is no proton means what here any other functionality is present that is x and y and when in that case when we replace this hydrogen ch2 by deuterium by deuterium so what happen anybody what is what what should speak triplet or doublet hello triplet what is it speak triplet मल्टी when five is there so what is it called quartet it is called as quartet no so yes multiplet no problem uh, after quartet we says that this is multiplet but if five signals are there then it is quintet it is what quintet okay all of you understand yeah yes sir yes or no Yes, sir. Okay. So if you see the CH two, this CH two is replaced by deuterium. That is, alpha carbon is replaced by deuterium. Then what happens? You see, the spectrum of an deuterated compound consists of triplet for the alpha proton. Okay. So here, here two protons are neighbors. So two plus one is three, and that's why. undeuterated here is what deuterated this compound is what undeuterated and this compound is what deuterated okay so the spectrum of undeuterated compound consists of triplet for the alpha proton quintet for beta proton okay assuming equal coupling for all protons and triplet of the gamma protons so here is what gamma proton so beta proton it is what it is a equal coupling equal coupling means what here is ch2 here is ch2 so 2 plus 2 4 and plus 1 that's why it is equally coupled it is what equally coupled and that's why both quintet while gamma proton and alpha proton shows triplet in case of what undeuterated carbon compounds okay and if you see for the deuterated compound the alpha proton absorption would be absent so if here you know that the proton coupled with what hydrogen so 
here not a hd coupling here is what dd so two hydrogen atoms from this carbon atom is replaced by and that's why this compound is called as a deuterated compound okay so when any compound from that hydrogen is replaced by deuterium then it is called as a deuterated proton deuterated. all of you understand yes sir yes or no yes sir yes sir okay then okay then you see that in case of deuterium atom so what happen here is the absorption of radiation due to heavy isotope that is deuterium is absent so triplet of this compound is absent in this compound why because this compound is deuterated where the hydrogen is replaced by deuterium okay yes so that alpha proton absorption would be absent the beta proton absorption would appear the modest resolution as slightly broadened triplet and the gamma proton absorption would be unaffected okay so what happen whatever triplet observed so in case of this compound this ch2 gives what quintet but in this compound the deuterate due to deuterium replacement there is a absent of this peak okay alpha peak is absent while beta is what happen near to beta there is a cd so there is no coupling here is what ch2 so no doubt beta gives what triplet instead of what quintet do you understand this one yes sir yes sir okay so but what is the nature of this triplet this triplet is slightly broadened means broad triplet we observed when the alpha hydrogen is replaced by deuterium and gamma proton there is a no change uh, the in the nature of the signal of this ch2 in this compound as well as in this compound why because deuterium is far away from this ch2 and there is a no chance of coupling so in both compound this ch2 gives what triplet okay all of you understand yes sir okay so uh, what is very close the uh, unaffected actually at very high resolution suppose we have to increase the resolution of the nmr instrument then each peak of beta proton triplet would appear as we very close the very close space the quintet Uh, increase so in this case at low resolution you observe that the triplet but at high resolution at high resolution even though there is a coupling of deuterium then and then also this beta proton shows closely spaced the quintet that is coupling constant that is h c c d okay and that is near about 1 hertz okay so since 2 n i plus 1 so all of you know that 2 into plus 1 is equal to 5 to like coupled to the coupled with beta there is a 2 okay and that's why at high resolution case there is a closely spaced quintets are observed okay next one the most residual proton impurity means uh, that residual proton you note down that what is mean by residual proton impurities every everybody i think known about this because last time we discuss about this residual proton impurities means what anyone ankita um, Hello, yes, sir. 
हेलो ब्रिटिश प्लीज सो एनीबडी नो बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ सोलवंट हाँ वी वी स्टडीड द डिटेटेड सोलवंट एंड आई थिंक आई विल गिव यू नंबर ऑफ डिटेटेड सोलवंट यस और Yes or no? So, what is residual proton impurity? Yes, it means when you want to replace hydrogen by deuterium. So, hundred percent replacement is not there. What happened? Hundred percent replacement is not there. And so. all of you understand or not yes sir hello okay so next one the uh, deuterated dimethyl sulfoxide so cd3 so okay that is the uh uh deuterated dimethyl deuterated dimethyl sulfoxide cd3 twice contains few molecules of what hydrogen so this is called as a residual impurities and we... hello shocking power हेलो आवाज येतोय की नाही ब्रेक होतोय सर ब्रेक होतोय सर आवाज ब्रेक होतोय ओके ओके आता लाग ना हेलो येतोय का हेलो हेलो सर येतोय हां ओके सो सो यू सीन दैट that is uh sulfoxide deuterated sulfoxide so in this case what happen there is a some hydrogen molecules as it is remains in this dimethyl sulfoxide so 100% replacement of deuterium is not takes place and that's why there is a closely spaced the quintet and the j value of it is nearly about 2 hertz it is what 2 hertz so what is intensity if it if there is a quintet then 1 as to 2 as to 3 as to 2 as to 1 okay so all of you know that the pascal triangle yes or no ha yes sir okay so what is that intensity the intensity is like 1 as to 2 as to 3 as to 2 as to 1 that is in in accordance with what Two n i plus one. Okay. All of you understand this one? Hello. Do you understand or not? Hello. Yes. Sir. So this concept is easy or not? Hello. This concept is easy or not? Hello. Hello. अरे काय ऐकायला येतं का नाही नेहा तना आवाज येतोय का 
Yes, sir. Okay, so all of you understand this concept? That is coupling of proton with yes. another important nuclei like F19 and hydrogen that is replaced by deuterium nucleus. Okay? Yes, sir. Deuterium. And what is important, you always keep in mind that in case of deuterium coupling, because of the electrical quadrupole movement. What? Because of electrical quadrupole movement of deuterium, only broad absorption peaks can be obtained from spectrum of deuterium nuclei. Okay. So when proton coupled with deuterium, there is a broad absorption peak can be observed in the spectrum of deuterium nuclei okay so anybody ask you question why the deuterium coupling with proton absorption peak is observed as a broad what is the answer rutuja power Yes? Rutuja Power, I'm asking something. Rutuja? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Why broad peak is observed? Why is it so? Santosh Narai? Santosh Narai? Yes, sir. Uh, why this broad absorption peak is observed? Hello? Today Shinde is join or not? Shinde? Shinde? So everyone please on your video please. Everyone on your video, please. Okay. Sahil Mujawar. So, Pratik Shinde, hmm? why this deuterium absorption peak is broad? Pratik Shinde. Due to electrical quadrupole movement. Okay. So all of you keep that thing and you note down it. Okay. When our lecture is going on, at that time, whatever I am uh, say to you, it is uh, important. At that time, you note down this. Because this part, we will see when we see the problems of NMR. There is a F coupling, HF coupling, then H decoupling. Okay. So if we have coupling and if you see J value, then you know that there is a long range type of coupling is there. If you see the HD coupling, then what happens when proton coupled with the deuterium, there is a small coupling constant. The its value is near about one hertz. Okay. But its spectrum is broad and this is due to why? Because of the electrical quadrupole movement. Okay. So, only two nuclei today we seen that is F19 and deuterium. So, all other, so all other uh, is about uh, three that is C13, then phosphorus, as well as silicon. silicon. So, this uh, nuclei that coupling with what? Proton. 
we will see on next lecture okay 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 all of you understand this one yes sir sharuk akhtar yes sir akhtar okay where is shinde shinde i have not uh, seen anywhere Shinde join or not lecture? Rushikesh? No sir. Hi to. Hello. Hi to lecture Raj. Shinde join or not lecture? No lecture. Why? So say to him, call me. Okay. okay? Give message to him. Yes sir. Huh? He call. To me, why he absent today? Okay. Okay. So uh, last thing I would like to say you, what you do about your research review? You do anything? Sahil. Yes, sir. Sahil. Yes, sir. Hello sir. You just write only one page. Nay sir, we ten puri sir na kono force kela ta. Hmm. Ten puri sir at sir the ani. Hi madam. So ikka nay sir na. Ah. All of you getting review. आवाज इतने सर सर आवाज ब्रेक होते हैं ओके नो प्रॉब्लम वी विल बेटर ऑन ओके तो जस्ट आई शो टू यू व्हाट्स पर प्रेजेंट टुडे सो यू वांट टू सी प्रेजेंट मैडम जी प्रेजेंट ही जाए नहीं तो ओके सो वी विल सी लेटर ऑन सो टुडे वी स्टॉप हियर ओके एंड डू दूर स्टडी बेस्ट गुड डे Have a nice day. Take care. Stay at home. Okay. Yes, sir. So everybody leave the class. Okay. Madam, what's going on? 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 अंकिता समृद्धि लिव द क्लास